Twitch AM. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everyone, this is Danyal Khan uh, from Afghanistan and uh, I am in Hilmand province. We reached here from uh, Ghazni via Kalat via Kandahar um, at about 11.30 at night. It was a very, very tiring journey. Uh, we are starting our shoot at about uh, 11 in the morning and uh, this story is about poppy cultivation of Afghanistan. Uh, so I'll go and show you how they do it. So we've met this uh, man. Uh, his name is uh, Muhammad Hashim, and he's going to be taking us uh, to one of his fields. And as you can see behind me, they have already started cultivating. The season is on. It starts from uh, mid-September uh, till uh, November. It's about uh, four acres of land. And I asked him why he does so and why he doesn't uh, cultivate uh, crops like wheat and uh, sugar cane and uh, rice. But he's saying that uh, there is no money in that. And because uh, the United States and the NATO forces, they have put uh, up sanctions now against Afghanistan so they can barely make their ends meet. He says that he cultivates uh, wheat and corn uh, in one acre. But this rest of the four acres, this whole land is uh, for poppy cultivation because it gives him uh, more yield and more money. So right now they're preparing this uh, land, they're plowing it and uh, they're saying this is the right season for uh, cultivation. They've started off uh, with plowing, now they're going to uh, put in the seeds, the poppy seeds, it's called uh, khashkhash in Urdu, I don't know what it's called in uh, in uh, the local language and uh, they're saying that they have abundance of water, they also have a motor here, it's boring, it's uh, bringing out water from the ground and it is specifically been put up uh, for uh, watering these fields. So this is how easily it is available and this is how easily it is cultivated. Unbelievable. Uh, 224,000 hectares of uh, land across Afghanistan, 22 provinces were uh, cultivating poppy. Uh, these are the reports from last year, 2020. So I asked them that this is, you're destroying the uh, next generation of the world because it goes out from here, from Afghanistan to the rest of the world, north, south, east, west. They're saying that uh, they know that it is against uh, Islam, but uh, then they say that uh, they need to eat, they need to feed their families, and that is why they are forced to do this. One of the boys that I've interviewed, he's saying that he's been doing it for the uh, since he was 12 years old. Now he's uh, 28, and he says he doesn't know anything else. I can see some uh, fields of corn. This field has is ready, and uh, they've put in seeds just this morning, and they're now preparing the field here we'll go and see how how they do it khabar khuda se da che padaga ata padaga maidano ke la tano tano patayaro ke da shan ur ke da da a pinch de a ruin che de چې پر دغه باندې بعضې خلک ګیر سوله په دا ګریش کې چې هغه دغه پر زنځیر ګیر کړی و ول دا شان علاقه دا وړل میدان ته محمد هاشم صاحب has told me he saying that uh, the US forces and the NATO forces during their uh, time in Afghanistan uh, they used to take hashish and heroin and uh, ice and what not there Foot soldiers used to come here to the fields and when when it was ready, they used to uh, uh, take these things from him. Probably uh, when we saw videos there on YouTube, 
uh, you can see them sitting there enjoying singing and dancing while their drones are killing uh, the uh, Afghan civilians. Uh, probably they were high on these drugs uh, that they were protecting while they were being cultivated. So you too are uh, also to be blamed uh, all this mess. They have uh, started sowing the poppy seeds. The land is ready and uh, now after sowing them, they're going to uh, water it and then wait. <laughs> it's really easy. I also saw one of the boys eating the, the poppy seed. I don't know whether he's going to go high. So this uh, menace can only be eradicated uh, if uh, the international sanctions are lifted. Otherwise, this is just four acres of land. And there are hundreds of thousands of acres of land. If these people are not helped, uh, then I'm afraid uh, this, uh, the, the drugs are going to spread like wildfire across the world and everyone's next generation is at risk. So this brings me to the end of another video from Afghanistan. I'm in Hilmand at the moment uh, uh, in the outskirts of the Lashkarga city and uh, people are cultivating poppy. The season is on but they're saying that they can give it up if uh, the Western world uh, lifts the sanctions. So it is up to them if they want their next generation to be uh, destroyed by heroin and all the drugs in the world or whether they give the Afghans their money and they can stop cultivating it. Uh, do tune in to CGTN. We have another uh, four or five days to go in Afghanistan till we head back. Uh, this is Daniel Khan signing off. Goodbye.